Hi, this is Simon Umstel and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today I'm going to show you how to create this simple particle effect. So I really like the tails on those particles and you can easily see how you might use this for some kind of scientific visualization. Anyway, let's have a look at how it's done. Right, for this project we're going with 1920 1080, a frame rate of 24 frames a second and a duration of 15 seconds. First thing I'm going to do is come down, select the circle tool, hold down the shift key to draw out a circle. Right click here, reset parameter to center it up. Come over to shape geometry and let's have a radius of one. Then let's come to object and make particles. So for the shape, we want rectangle. For the arrangement, we want random fill. Let's open up the size. Let's have a width of 1920 and a height of one. And let's turn on 3D. Okay, so I'm gonna come back and set up the birth rate in a minute. But first of all, let's set up the life. So 10 for the life, four for the randomness, zero for the speed and 150 for the speed randomness. Let's turn on additive blends just for fun. So let's color mode, let's choose colorize and I'm gonna pick this color. And let's open up the opacity over life. Let's click here, click here and click here. This first tag, let's set that opacity down to zero. Last one, opacity down to zero. So they fade in and they fade out. So then we can come back and sort out the birth rate. So I'm going to come to frame 40 and I'm going to keyframe the birth rate, set the value to 200. I'm going to come forward to 80 frames or thereabouts and I'm going to set that birth rate down to zero. So then we're going to come over and open up the rotation for the emitter. We're going to add a ramp behavior to the Z rotation and we are going to have an end value of negative 270. Let's come back over and add another ramp behavior to the Y rotation and let's have an end value of 90 for that. And then let's come to behaviors and simulation and let's choose orbit around. So let's use our original circle as the source. Remember that's actually positioned right in the center of the screen, which is good. We want a strength of 15. We want a fall off rate of 10 and we can leave that influence as is, but let's just turn on the Z as well. I'm just gonna hide the overlays. So now we've got these particles swirling around, but they're pretty ordinary looking. And to make it all look nice, we're going to come to this group. I'm going to just first of all set it to fixed resolution. And let's come to filters and time. And we'll choose wide time. And I'm going to set the duration to the maximum, which is one. And you can see we get these really nice little streaks that are following the particles. And that's what's really nice about this effect. So I'm also gonna turn the decay down to zero and you can see that that now fades off the tails of those streaks. And I think I'm also just gonna reduce the amount down to 0.6 and that just brightens up the leading edges. Okay, so then I'm also going to add filters, color and levels just in case we need it. And I'm also gonna come in and add a glow and neon. I'm going to set that outer glow value all the way up to 200. And I think that's probably quite good. So if we wanted them brighter, we could play with the levels. So there's one thing I want to point out. I don't know whether we can see it. Uh, yes, we can. Down here, if I zoom into this bit here, you can see that the trails are getting a little bit sort of spaced out. And to fix that, we can come to render and motion blur. And you can see that, that smooths it all out. And that's gonna be good for our final render. But I'm just gonna turn that off for the purposes of the tutorial. This obviously slows us down a bit. So then that's looking quite nice. And I think just to finish it off, let's just add a new group at the top. Let's come to generators and let's drop in a lens flare. 
Let's come over here. Again, I want to keyframe the lens flare values. So I'm going to come to, I think, frame 40 again. I'm going to keyframe the size and intensity. I'm going to set that intensity up to three here. Let's come to the beginning and let's set both of those down to zero. And finally, let's come to frame 250 and set them down to zero as well. So that'll give us this burst of lens flare like that. I think I'm just going to adjust that color. Let's turn down that ring radius. I don't want a ring radius there. And I think I might also just reduce that fall off down to two so we get more of a spread of that. And what we'll need to do is come to filters and stylize and add noise to that. Let's choose blue to reduce the banding. And let's set the mix value down to around 10 or something. That's important to reduce the banding on that that you'll otherwise get. What I'll need to do is set this group to add because I've stupidly added that noise to the group and that rasterizes it and makes it normal. So then we get this and it all looks really rather nice. So the values that I've given you for the orbit and the ramp and whatever, they are really just kind of guides. So whatever you choose here is going to have a different effect. I want you to notice how adjusting that fall off rate can have a big influence. So I reduce that down to five and you can see we get sort of much tighter spin and we're really exaggerating the curvature of those tails. There you go, quite a fun little effect. And as I say, just make sure to turn on motion blur when you render the final result. So, hope that's been interesting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.